Hey there, it's Tim from eMini Mind, and in this video, we're going to run through uh, some trades from today and yesterday. It's Thursday, June 1st, so let's get into it. We're took a, uh, talking about the ES here, and if I go through my, I got a handful of notes I want to run through, and we'll just start with Wednesday and uh, then go to today. So, yesterday we had a gap down, <clears throat> and on the 15 minute chart, we had the first uh, 15 minute direction fail. So we broke to the upside, and then that one came down and stopped out for eight and a half, and then ran down all the way to like, um, how far did that go? It was like 18 points, so it didn't quite make it in the other direction. Um, I just put my stop. When we get to plus 15, I move my stop to minus four, and then you can either decide to just kind of close out towards the end of the day if we're not uh, making any progress and call it good scratch. Um, or just leave your stop at minus four and see if we can roll over. I don't like to hold it too late into the close because sometimes you can get some bigger movements. So I tend to just, uh, you know, if it's after lunchtime, I'll just close out wherever we're at or if it's close to break even and just take whatever profit I have. Tuesdays had a nice plus 20. And then today, um, we actually filled the gap on the first 15 minutes. So there was no 15 minute breakout. I know we ended up running uh, pretty. Uh, strong to the upside, but on the whole, if you pass on days where we fill the gap, those are the days where we end up chopping around and like breaking one way and then breaking the other way and not going plus 20 on either of them. Sort of like we had yesterday, although we, we got pretty close yesterday. I thought we were going to get there, uh, but we didn't. So that was the 15 uh, for the week, Monday holiday, so no trade there. Going to the one minute, a um, couple good, well, a couple good, really good retracement today that I caught, and uh, when I run through some one minutes from yesterday um, as well, along with, uh, and that was yesterday's one minute, uh, yesterday's uh, five twelve rather. So, on the uh, trades from yesterday on the one minute, we had seven oh one was. Let's see, this is today. Back it up. And that is so. Yesterday we were kind of in a in a range right off the open, and it didn't last too long. But once we got out of the 30-minute mark, we started to sell off. And so one of the things that you want to pay attention to is the nicey tick. And when we sold off <clears throat> um, the first break below, I bought 701 above the high of this hammer because we had just broken below the 30 minute low and you know at that point we haven't been trending so there's there's the chance that we just break below and then bounce and come back into the range so I took that one uh, it spiked a little bit and then rolled over so nothing nothing as far as follow through on that one but the important thing that occurred yesterday is when we have all these hammers on the way down here none of them were uh, none of them corresponded with a low nicey tick so there were lots of hammers on the way down but they did not correspond with a low nicey tick and the 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 low ticks that we did have like I'm pretty sure there was one here at 712 um, we had a low tick and then we went lower so you have a tick divergence meaning you have a low tick that lined up with lows for just a minute or two and then when price goes lower, that's signaling that we're going to be trending lower. If we had a low tick on the NICE that lined up with low price and we started to bounce and break these candles highs and break swing highs, um, you know, if the low tick at low holds, now you have the, the chance of that being the low of the day. So none of these hammers were really viable because we had the tick divergence and we didn't have a low tick at low. So you don't want to get caught in trying to uh, buy lows on a downtrend <clears throat> because even if you do get a little bounce, it's just going to be real small and not worth taking. So um, didn't have much um, in that part of it. Uh, well, I should say on the one minute, if I flip over to the... Uh, halfway backs, the way that I got into the short was 7.07, so 37 minutes after the bell, it's uh, Pacific time, and that was right here, so this this corresponding little swing, we had a double double bottom with a, 
uh, break of the swing high. That corresponded with the hammer that I took here. So I took that like right down in here. And you can see the double bottom, we pulled back and there, there really was no support there. Um, we, we started to go lower. And we, we did put in this little V, but by and large, if you exclude that, uh, we kind of went lower from there. And so we had a low tick over at, I think it was here, 703, yeah. 703, we had a low tick. So when we broke, when we broke this low right here, I drew up a short. And lo and behold, that short lined up nicely with the 30-minute low right here. So um, sometimes you have to get into a trade or two to kind of really get a feel for how things are going. I mean, yes, you can watch and you can glean a lot from the first 15 minutes of observing, but um, I have no, you know, if I had to do it over again, I would totally take this hammer as a long because we could have just as easily <coughs> rallied here um, as we went down. So at that point, it's kind of like an inflection point of we're either going to bounce or we're going to go down. And if the long doesn't work, then I can take a short. And so that's what I did here. It was kind of a continuation of this series from the swing high down to lows. And then if you back up all the way to uh, going even further back, we have that to lows. So, you know, the high of the day down to the swing low, bounce to the 50, down to the negative 23, bounce to the 50, and then that's where this 4192 set us up. And that was a knockout. That thing rolled pretty nicely. I drew up the next retracement like that. Um, and then I even I brought my stop down above this swing high as we started to roll over here. And then I drew the next retracement like that. And that kind of chopped around a little bit, and then the next retracement, I got lucky, or I uh, just followed the plan, I guess, and that one came just one tick away from my stop. So it was 4186.51 as the 61.8, so I round up and then add two ticks. So that was a 4187 and a quarter, and so my stop was one tick above where price traded. So I'd call that a little bit lucky. This could have just as easily been 4186.50, and then adding two ticks would have put me right there. So that rolled over, did that again, drew up the next retracement. Um, that held just fine above the 61.8. And then on this next rollover where we went super fast, straight down, I just started trailing each candle as best I could. Sometimes you're one candle behind, but um, I think I ended up right about here um, as my as my exit. So that was like a 13 point move plus a three point first target. So that was a sweet one. Um, and that was, that was a good chunk of, of the move down in a matter of what, 20 minutes. So pretty quick one. Um, I guess it's not that quick, but a, a nice, nice, um, I would say home run winner on the break of the low tick and just below the 30 minute low going to today. Uh, there was a one minute, so no 15 minute because we filled the gap. <clears throat> and then the retracements, um, we had some nice moves today, but didn't really have a lot of micros following larger drawing. So I always like to start on the larger time frame here by doing like a five minute chart. And then you know, you can draw up a retracement and then look for, so rather than just putting a short out here at 4185.50, like rather than just put a limit order out, I'd rather come into the market here and look for some kind of a uh, sell-off. And, and this one kind of did, uh, followed it up with a uh, retracement short, um, but we were kind of in the middle of the range there, and that was right at the top of the hour as well. So uh, I didn't take that 41.85.50, but I did uh, at 7.16 on the one minute take this guy up here. It's kind of sticking up above. It was the high of the day at the time. We look like that. And I go back a little more like that. And so this didn't have a, a corresponding high tick at highs. But if you look at the range for the day, you know, we kind of we came down, we came up. It's pretty sideways. Yes, there's, you know, a downtrend and an uptrend. But overall, this high was just a little bit higher from where we started. So very horizontal, 
Whereas if we go to yesterday, um, I guess what I'm getting at is once we, so same same kind of thing, this hammer here, the, the price action leading up to that was very horizontal. And so yesterday we had we ended up going lower and then getting the tick divergence and having a strong trend down. Whereas today, that same kind of scenario off the open, we ended up rolling over at least for a little bit. And so shorting that hammer, one tick below lows, 94.50, uh, got a quick rollover. And then this section here where we have these two green candles, I just leave my stop above the breakdown candle because these are inside bars. And then I would move it to above this candle's high once it closes. And then boom, 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 couple candles down. That was an eight pointer. Um, so that was a nice move down. And then I, I was looking for a retracement long, but we came... Um, kind of down through the 61.8 and didn't really see much set up here. We, we ended up trading at the opposing short. So this hammer here was a little susceptible to uh, getting stopped out. Um, so I didn't take that one. But I was more than happy with, uh, you know, the eight points. Uh, and then you know, yesterday's essentially 16 pointer for just two contracts. So you can see you don't, you don't need, you know, to be trading a ton of contracts to really, um, do pretty well if you can just keep yourself out of the chop and be comfortable sitting on your hands when there's really not much going on or when things are um, moving but maybe not the greatest looking setups it's okay to pass and wait for uh, some better setups um, and so those uh, those are the trades from yesterday and today Tuesdays you can go back to the if you're uh, in the VIP membership you can go and um, watch those recordings I record all the live Tuesday sessions so if you have questions drop them in the comments below I hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll talk to you soon